Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Matthew Street. Welcome to my channel. As always, truly appreciate you being here. And folks, just doing a quick book review for, well, not really a review, more of a recommendation. Uh, there's a fairly new book out there. It came out over this past summer, 2023, on Backbeat Books. It's called Act Naturally, The Beatles on Film, written by Steve Matteo. Steve is very well known in the world of the Beatles. Uh, he is not only a fan, but he is an author and somebody who really follows the band and studies them. And he's just released this brand new book. As I said, it's on Backbeat Publications, 350 pages, approximately soft cover. Uh, you get a lot of obviously written prose in here, but also there are pictures sprinkled in here and I'm not gonna try to find too many of them right now, but you know, if you, if you guys, you go through the book, you will find pictures sprinkled in of the Beatles during different phases of their movie or film career as it were. And so, um, again, see if I can find a couple more. There's John and Ringo there in help. And then you have one here. Here's Paul. I mean, so you do get some smattering of pictures and whatnot, but the main thing is, is what's written in here. And basically it's a cornucopia of a lot of background factoids, trivia, and information about all the Beatles films. From Hard Day's Night to Help to Magical Mystery Tour, Yellow Submarine, and Let It Be. And it even dives into a little bit of the Beatles post being together, what they did solo-wise as far as film. We all know Ringo acted in some films. George was involved with his company, Handmade Films. So there is some post-Beatles uh, information in here about their career in film after the breakup of the group. So it goes into a lot of great detail in here about the rise of the British film industry during the 60s or through the 50s leading up to the 60s and how the Beatles and the making of their films fit into all of that. Uh, you know, talking about the United Kingdom and obviously the swinging British aisles over there back in the 60s, how they were so hip and in the forefront with fashion, music, literature, and filmmaking. And so he goes into that a little bit in the book. And there's also a little bit of talk about, you know, some of the other bands that also got involved in making films during this era, as the Beatles did, and especially with the brand new Rolling Stones album coming out, it does talk a little bit about the Rolling Stones and their lack of being involved in films and why that was and some speculation as to why the Stones never really made a film as the Beatles and some other British invasion bands did. So it's really good in that regard. There's a, it, it's not just straight about, you get a lot of detail about each of the Beatles films, which is fantastic. They all get their own very extensive chapter, but it's the other information that should also keep you very interested. As I said, as far as British filmmaking during that period, other bands like the Stones and, and being involved, they're not being involved in films and why that was. So it's a lot of great stuff. So if you have a favorite movie, you can, you're can you able to go right to that chapter and you can really dive in and get a lot of great detail about the movie and the making of it and little pieces of information that you may not have known before. So folks, I'm giving this a recommendation, a recommendation from the Matthew Street Channel. Steve Mateo's new book, on Backbeat Publications, and it's called Act Naturally, The Beatles on Film. Check it out. You can get it anywhere. I bought mine on Amazon. I ordered it, and it came right in. But I'm sure there's other avenues where you can get this book. So enjoy, folks. It's another great Beatles book for your Beatles library. Take care. Bye-bye.